Hello, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry with a Moto Quick Clip. I was recently asked if replicas could be scaled or shrunk based on the position of a locator, so I thought it would be a good idea to discuss the particle modifiers, and specifically the particle basic modifier. So here's a completed scene, and if I select the locator and press W for move and start moving this locator, you'll notice that the replicas that are closest to the locator uh, shrink in size. They become smaller. So we're going to recreate this scene from scratch. So we'll begin by creating a unit cube. So holding control, I'll click on the cube icon in the basic toolbox. And then I'm just going to select the top polygon. And I'll press the open square bracket on my keyboard to select the inverse. And then I'll just cut these polygons away with control X. I'll select this polygon center selected, and then I'll press R to scale this polygon, and I'm just going to scale it in the X and Z by 300%. And then I'll drop the scale tool, and I'll press Shift D to subdivide the polygons, and I want the subdivision method to be faceted, and I'll do that three times. And then I'll press M to assign a material, and we'll just call this floor, and I'll give it a bluish color. and I'll rename the mesh item floor and then I'll just drag it beneath the directional light. I'll press N for new mesh item and then just holding control I'll uh, create a new unit cube and then I'll select all the polygons uh, shift D to subdivide the polygons. This time the subdivision method will be Catmull Clark and I'll do that again shift D to subdivide the polygons one more time and I just want to scale this down so R for scale then I'll just scale this down to about 29%, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe about 21.5, that looks good. Okay, so M to assign a material, we'll call this ball, and I'll give it a reddish color, and I'll rename this mesh item ball, and Q to drop the tool. Okay, so now we need a surface particle generator, so I'll add an item in the item list, surface particle generator and I'm going to drag that directly into the schematic along with the ball and floor. So the surface particle generator needs a surface source. So we can either come over to the properties and choose the floor or we can just make a direct connection in the schematic. So now you should be able to see uh, the little particles that are uh, kind of originating on the floor on our plane uh, of polygons. So now we need a replicator. So I'll add an item and I'll type in replicator and I'll drag the replicator in and the replicator is going to need uh, a particle source which is going to be the surface particle generator as well as a prototype. So the ball is going to be our prototype and the particle source will be the surface particle generator. So there we go. All of the balls are uh, where all of the particles were. So now let's begin to think of how we're going to shrink the uh, replicas. So we're going to need a particle modifier. So I'm going to click this little arrow next to add and I'll come down to particles, modifiers, particle modifier. Here's our particle modifier. You can see that it's looking for a particle source, just like our replica or our replicator. So I'll unplug the surface particle generator from the replicator and I'll plug it into the input of the particle modifier and then I'll wire the particle modifier to the replicator. So it doesn't look like much has happened and that's because we haven't adjusted our particle modifier. So the surface particle generator is just flowing into the particle modifier and then it's going right to the replicator. So let's add a fall off because the particle modifier can accept a fall off. So we'll click this little arrow and choose fall offs, radial fall off. And in the viewport you can see the radial fall off right here. So I'll just wire that radial fall off to the fall offs of the particle modifier. So now if I come over to the particle modifier in the properties and I change the scale in the X, Y, and Z to something less, We'll do 10%, and to get all 10% at the same time, we'll click on this little O icon, which is the 
gang select, and by left mouse button clicking once, we'll get the equal sign, and I'll just change that to 10% for X, Y, and Z. And now you can see, within the falloff, all of our uh, replicas are becoming smaller, gradually. Now we still have one large one here, and that's the uh, original, so we'll just make that invisible. And let's actually make the fall off a little bit smaller. So I'll click on the fall off, and I'm going to once again click this little O icon for the gang select, and I'll make it uh, 0.5 meters or 500 millimeters. So now if I press W to move the fall off, actually it's a little bit difficult to see because we're able to select the surface particle generator or the replicator in the viewport. So let me actually select the floor along with the surface particle generator and under assembly I'm going to change select from default to no. So now in the viewport I can no longer select uh, the surface particle generator or uh, the floor. And if I select the radial falloff it looks like we're still kind of able to see that. So let me actually also make the replicator unselectable. And now if I select the radial falloff and press W, we can see that all of the replicas within the boundary of the radial falloff are shrinking. So that's pretty interesting. Now what if we want the falloff to be a little bit more stark? We don't want that gradual uh, large to small. Uh, scaling. So I'm going to come over to the radial falloff properties and under solid core I'll just increase that to let's say 85 percent. And now as I move the radial falloff you can see the replicas within the uh, boundary of the falloff are really shrinking. They're really being scaled down uh, not as gradually. It's a pretty stark difference. So I'm going to change that down to 50 because that seems like a happier media. Now the original question was how to uh, get the uh, replicas to shrink wherever there's a locator. So I'm just going to reset my radial falloff position to 0 in X and Z and then I'll go into items mode by pressing 5, I'll press L to add a locator and then I'm just going to parent the radial falloff to the locator and then I can even hide the radial falloff. So now whenever I move the locator, the replicas uh, near the locator will shrink. And again we can just select the radial falloff and change the solid core to 40 percent. We can go to the particle modifier and we can change the scale from 10 percent to maybe 20 percent because maybe uh, they were shrinking a little bit too much. And with the locator selected once again we can start moving the locator to see our results. So the particle modifiers in Modo are extremely powerful and worthy of further exploration. I hope you found this little tutorial to be useful. Stay tuned for more Modo Quick Clips.